Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast. You're with Charlie State and Nagat Monchetti. Our headlines today. The lockdown is on. Good morning. It's Friday the 17th of April. Our top story this morning as the lockdown in the UK is extended for another three weeks. Some leading scientists are to begin an urgent investigation to ways Britain can overcome the coronavirus pandemic. As more fears are raised about supplies to protective equipment, we're going to speak to the Transport Secretary, Grant Shapps, at 7.30. We'll also hear from the Mayor of London about his calls to make face masks compulsory. Also, in half an hour, we'll be putting some of your questions to a GP, one of the many frontline workers who were honoured last night in the fourth clap for carers. Charlotte Gallagher has this report. Let's get more on the government's lockdown measures now with our political correspondent Leila Nathy. Leila, good morning to you. Um, listening to the press conference yesterday, it's been for the last few days actually, hasn't it? It's OK, we knew that the so-called lockdown, these measures were going to be extended for three weeks, no surprise, but it's how we come out of it that now is needed to be clarified. Very much. And we're going to be talking to Grant Shapps, uh, the Transport Secretary at 7.30, and the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, um, a little earlier. China's Wuhan city, the epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak, has increased its official death toll by 50% after admitting inaccuracies in the initial count. Now, the revised figure was revealed after Beijing dismissed claims that it had underreported the fatality rate. China hasn't yet provided an explanation for the rising number. Let's talk to Steve McDonald, who's in... Now, Donald Trump has set out plans for lifting coronavirus restrictions across the United States. At a White House news conference, he said governors would be allowed to tailor their approach to meet their state's individual needs. Critics say the U.S. president is being over-optimistic about how soon the crisis will pass. Let's talk to our correspondent, David Willis. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are fronting a new campaign. They want to encourage people to look after their mental health during the coronavirus outbreak. Prince William and Catherine have spoken exclusively to the BBC about the need to talk and the vital role NHS staff are playing on the front line. Here's our royal correspondent, Johnny Diamond. Interesting hearing their reflections. Some of the things, you know, just reflected like other people's. Yeah, and situations. they make sure that they keep getting that message out, don't they, to make clear that everyone can be affected by this. Um, the, Duke and, the Duke of Cambridge and the Duchess of Cornwall, meanwhile, have written to our friend, 99-year-old war veteran Captain Tom Moore. You'll remember him yesterday, won the hearts of the nation. He's his fundraising F. A week ago today, target was 1,000. What did he get to that day? I think it went up to about... In, I think within a few hours, it went up to something like 36. In the 30s. And I remember thinking at the time, that is extraordinary. And there you go. And, and on the programme yesterday, it hit 13, didn't it? Yeah. 17 and a quarter million. And the messages from celebrities unsurprisingly, are just rolling in. Here's one from the captain of the England football team, Harry Kane. Um, inside pages. Charlie, have you ever heard of um, stinky, stink flirting? No. Have you got an idea of what stink flirting might be? No, I don't know. <laughs> Do I want to know? Why well, wouldn't you Go want on, to know? Try it. Um, so, you know, like, people put perfume on or aftershave on. Uh, humans do, Yeah. Some do. Well, thanks for clarifying that. I thought it might have been other things that put aftershave on, but... Uh... Good. Is that the end of the story? Can I just say that's going to set the tone for the whole morning? Um, no, they're not. Lemurs, actually. Um, Ring-tailed lemurs, they woo females through stink flirting. This is the phrase you're going to learn now. They secrete a fruity and floral aroma from their wrists. Don't you Do think they, that's really? surprising? They just discovered that. Yeah, a scientist was made, um, a, a scientist, a professor and biochemist at the University of Tokyo had been tracking the behaviour of a captive group of lemurs. Uh, the collective noun for a group of lemurs? Uh, a I'm put this down now. No, a conspiracy. A conspiracy of lemurs, yeah, that um, right. Yeah, um, they live, they're native to Madagascar, they live in matriarchal groups where females call the shots. I don't have a whole lot to say about that, apart from, uh, the, the phrase I've got in my head is, um, there was an aftershave many, many years ago, some people might remember called Pagan Man. <gasps> Please, if you are at home You've still and you've got, got a bottle one of, of it. those wow. who has a bottle of Pagan Man, Pagan Man, I'm please send saying, a picture, send a it in, and as well as a description, because the lemurs are secreting a fruity and floral aroma on their wrists. Charlie, what was so, the aroma of Pagan Man? Uh, honestly, uh, please. special. That's a lot, isn't it? So no Pagan Man, is it? When's a £20 note not worth a £20 note? If it's ripped in half. No. Um, when it doesn't have the Queen's head on it. Um, so there are these erroneous British banknotes. So, there you go. It could look like, you know, 
no queen, no queen on it. If you've got one, could be worth a lot more. That's when a £20 note is not worth a £20 note. It's just a look at some of the inside pages for you. It is Friday morning. 18 minutes past six is the time. Uh, there's a story trending on Twitter about a father in the United States who was desperately looking for a way to celebrate his son's birthday. So he decided to call the police and tell them about his dilemma. Let's take a look at their extraordinary response. To celebrate all those emergency workers, all the frontline workers, all the carers, the NHS, all those people who perhaps we took for granted before this new world that we're living in. Eight o'clock last night, of course, was the the latest uh, appointment. It has become an appointment now, yes. hasn't it? So many people are, are using that as their marker of the week. It's whatever's happened, however difficult things are, at least we have that. Mm, absolutely. Millions of people took they, they took part in the fourth week that the Clap for Carers has taken place. Uh, Graeme Satchel has been taking a look at how people all over the country have been saying thank you. It is quite extraordinary what they have achieved. It's like the Nightingale hospitals here, yes. what's achieved in such a short space of time. And so, so needed as well. Um, it's 26 minutes past six. In our new world, this is the time when you'll get, be getting your weather update, and Sarah has that for us this morning. Gorgeous sky behind you there. Morning. Dave, pagan man. Uh, I can't say it's one that I'm familiar with personally, Naga, no. <laughs> no, well, Charlie's very familiar. And, Charlie, the great thing about social media, Sarah, thanks very much, is that we, we asked if anyone had a bottle of Pagan Man. Mm. And do you remember there was a bull on the I don't remember the anything about it. You don't remember the smell or anything? No. Um, well, it, it exists. I mean, it's got a ring to it, you must admit. Have we dealt with that now? This, I think with that, that was that, that half hour. It's gone now, right? Good. Oh, Time is 6.30. OK, you are watching Breakfast. You're with Charlie State, Pagan Man, and Naga Monchetti. Uh, we'll bring your latest news and support in just a moment. Let's see what's coming up on Breakfast this morning. Let's bring you a summary of today's main stories from BBC News. The lockdown in the UK has been extended for another three weeks. Now, some of the world's leading scientists are beginning an urgent investigation into ways Britain can come out of that lockdown. Meanwhile, there are continuing concerns over PPE provisions. One NHS trust has told the BBC it fears that it doesn't have enough gowns to get through today. One another says it's been forced to reuse disposable masks. I, I was enough. sort of hoping, uh, I, now think about it completely unrealistically, that this morning he might have had a, a lion. <laughs> it's not. He wa no, he Is watches it? morning, Captain Tom. He watches. He watches. watches. Watches in the morning. Um, hope you are getting a lion. Uh, 12 minutes to 7 is the time. There's a warning about permanent job losses unless the government extends this job retention scheme. And that's what Ben is taking a look at this morning in the business newsroom in London. Good morning.